<laughs> so, um, how do you want to talk about all this role reversal that's going on in the world right now? Why? I feel like that's that right there is like a topic that a lot of people don't touch up on enough because we're too busy trying to be each other. We're too busy not understanding each other, too busy hating each other. And I feel like, especially within the black community, it's like elevated a little bit more just because like it's like entertainment for every other race mm -hmm. to see us tear each other down, to mm -hmm. see us constantly bicker about what the other side isn't doing, what the other side does that we don't like more so compared to just trying to understand why we are this way because we mirror each other. You know, men do a lot of things because of women. Women do a lot of things because of men, you mm -hmm. know. It's all about, you know, the law of attraction. So it's just like we're doing these things because a lot of times women have made it clear that this is the type of guy you want. So it's like when that guy is stepping out of his comfort zone or he's, you know, not staying true to himself, he's trying to become this person and give this image that you say is the perfect image for you. Mm. Well, why are you complaining? Like, you know, a lot of that stuff tends to mutate into a lot of things we don't want it to be. We tend to create versions of people we don't want. So it's like, why is it that instead of it just, you know, we just trying to learn each other more, like how every other race does, you know? I don't know what it is with us, but <laughs> I wish it was just more so like we could just actually sit down and love each other, you know. Yeah. And now, like I said, with the whole role reversal, it's like, you know, a lot of men are trying to be like women, you know, in terms of the, like their desires, you know, what it is they want, you know. It's a lot of men out here complaining too much. It's a lot of men <laughs> out here, you know, bitching too much. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. And then on the other side for the women, you know, it's a lot of women out here, you know, not being women. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of women out here being a little bit too manly. You know, yeah. trying to shut their feelings off, trying to act like dudes, you know, you know, trying to dog walk motherfuckers and shit, like kind of how like dudes do, um, unfortunately. Yeah. And then, like I say, also with and not even just like strictly gender, you know, you got age groups too. You got kids trying to be adults. Fucks. You got these young kids out here thinking they need to keep up with adults. You know, it's, I'm so glad I ain't in school nowadays. <laughs> high school, you know how stressful it'd be yeah. to be in high school and just feeling as though, damn, I need to have that Dior, I need to have that that Burberry, I need to have that Louis Vuitton. Shit, bro, like, bro, you, you are in ninth grade, class, like, right? You got your students, you got your classmates fighting teacher, right? Oh, like, like yo, you are in ninth grade. Like, yo, relax. <laughs> yeah, like, you in ninth grade? You try? You want me to spend thousands of dollars on one item exactly. for you to wear to to who you trying to keep up with? But that's like the persona, you know. That's the you know that's what's in. Oh, yeah. That's what these celebrities do. That's what, you know, that's what the adults are doing. You know, kudos to people that have, you know, the financial gain to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I ain't knocking nobody hustle. I ain't knock, I ain't counting nobody pockets. Yeah. But it's just like, you know, when we prioritize that and make it more important than what it is, you know, that's influencing these kids to, you know, follow that same uh, train of thought. So it's like, why is it that? Bro, spitting right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, why is it that? We value that so much. And then, you know, that also goes into, like, how I was saying, you know, adults, shit, there's times where I wish I was still a kid. Like, mm -hmm. I don't act like a kid, but, like, you know, I may have my moments where, you know, everybody has their moments where they being childish or whatever the case may be. But, like, you know, as adults, we need to start standing on that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an everyday thing. Like, our kid years are over. You know, a lot of adults, they need to start acting more like men, you know, stop having temper, men and women. Like, mm -hmm. start with the temper tantrum. Start with the, you know, handling things the way a child would, mm -hmm. you know. Find you, real solutions to these right. problems. Right, real yeah. resolutions. Yeah. Not always talking about the problems. Let's talk about resolutions. Let's talk yeah. about how can we resolve everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's also talk about, like, how... What's, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but let's... um, It'll come back to me. All right. But, like... <laughs> oh, wait, all right, okay. So let's also talk about, like, how, you know, how it is nowadays... Where it's like a lot of people, they try to avoid conflict or, you know, they're not too confrontational. So they just, they rather go on mute or they rather just run away from the issue. Mm -hmm. It's like things don't get solved like that. So now you, cause you, now you got the other side thinking like, oh, you know, you either just canceling me out. You know, you trying to, you know, gaslight me. There's a lot of gaslighting going on too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like accountability. That's very important as well as adults. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like. We gotta start taking more accountability for what it is we do, and 
how we move forward from the things we do. Because not everything we do is right, not everything we do is good. Mm-hmm. And I felt as though, like, a lot of times, it's a lot of pride involved on both sides. You know, a lot of women don't like being wrong. Men don't like being wrong. Mm-hmm. But it's like, how do we grow if both sides don't want to be wrong? So we keep doing wrong shit. Mm-hmm. And then now it's it's a weird now to the point where it's like, you know, a lot of motherfuckers are trying to outdo each other in the wrong shit, in the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to get you before you get me, basically, you know? Mm-hmm. So now it's like, this just like a, a messed up mentality to have, especially for our generation. Our generation, we're going to make or break the world. Yeah. How I feel like, just because the direction in which the world is going, like the dynamic of how everything is, mm-hmm. like, we're the 90s babies. So it's like, we're going to make or break the world, you know? Mm-hmm. We've lived through four different generations. Mm. I mean, four different uh, decades. Yeah. Before our 30th birthday, 90s, the the thousands, the 2010s, the 2020s. Mm-hmm. A lot of us ain't even 30 yet. We've done lived through four different decades. You know, we created the social media shit. era. Decades. Right. Yeah. Seen a whole bunch of different yeah, I things. Didn't think about it like that. Right. Yeah, that's like we, <laughs> we, we created the social media era. You know, that's us. Like that's yeah. like we are the epitome of that era, you know. So it's like we got to start. Cleaning up. Yeah, we got to start cleaning up. It was because, fun. Mm-hmm. It was fun, but then shit went left, and we just allowed it to keep going left. Right. And now Literally. we're at a point where it's like, all right, I know everyone's starting to realize like this shit is like not it's even not toxic. Control. It just look you look at it and you're like the fuck. Like it's so many times I'm on Twitter, I see like scrolling on my timeline, I'm seeing shit, I'm just like. The only reason I even still log on this bitch is because it's funny. <laughs> but there's just so much diabolical toxic shit that's just on it and now it's not even just twitter it's you see the facebook it's snapchat instagram yeah. it's just like it's just toxic shit and sex <laughs> all over the place all legit just, all watch over my, place. don't check my story check yeah. my story on facebook like when did this become exactly yeah. like, <laughs> like, how you gotta do this no nah, like, you, you ever see like on facebook where it's like you see a lot of uh you know, like these, I don't know if they're like porn pages or what, right. but like they bots. they're That's telling people yeah, they to check bots, their stories. Okay, okay. And when okay. you check the stories, there's a whole bunch some of sexual shit. content. Yeah. It's either some sexual content that's, you know, some good shit or some wild, <laughs> just disgusting shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, and the then, then it's this? like, just like, you know, curiosity kills. I tell this, I tell people this all the time. Mm-hmm. Like me, I don't be sold on shit like that. If I see, I'll scroll past it. Like some, you know, there's some I checked. I ain't going to say I make it seem like I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just right, completely right, right. blind to it, <laughs> yeah. but it's like just going off of what people like when they share it and when they like discuss it. You can just kind of tell what it already is because people mm-hmm. are already in the comments saying what yeah. it is. Right. I'm like, what is going on with that? <laughs> like, yeah. what's going on with that? Nah, when did that become a thing? Like, right, and like, like, then all these restrictions on Facebook, man. All these restrictions, Mark talking to you. <laughs> all these restrictions. I don't know what's going on. It's like. Facebook is so censored now. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Mark. He talking to you. I'm still on there. Bro. Yeah. You <laughs> can't do or say anything. I'll say anything on that bitch. I've been restricted like three times. 30-month bids. I already called someone never, racist, man. For <laughs> saying nothing. Literally. So, wait. This face, that Facebook jail shit, that's really real. Yeah. 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 They be, yeah. <laughs> like, He's in it currently. Like, it's right now. <laughs> I got Ew. six days left. <laughs> but I'm like, damn. Yeah. Even when you appeal it. I don't know who is behind that. I don't know who is doing the appeals. Yeah, I don't know who's you. overviewing the stuff. I'm surprised I didn't get my ass yet. But it's like, it got to be somebody old, like senile old. Because it's like, <laughs> yo, they don't understand <laughs> nothing. Nah, they, understand they don't understand exactly nothing that's said. going on. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tear that ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, 30 <laughs> days. That's extremely too sexy. And then they're not even like yeah, labeling it. story popping pussy. Like. Exactly. <laughs> like, they're not even <laughs> labeling it. Nigga? <laughs> right. Oh, they're not even labeling it as, you know, Sexual continuity, nothing. They're labeling it as violence. Yeah, he's like, I'm like what? Damn. <laughs> I'm like, no. what? Yo. How is this violent? Yeah. I, I just tell whoever is behind it ain't getting no ass. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I just feel like with the with the role reversal or whatever. I just think people just gotta beat themselves for real. Like, I don't think you should change up for anybody. For shit. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, and I just think, like, That's relationships real. work better in that way. Like, if you're going to be more masculine for a guy for a woman or be more feminine if you're a guy for a 
a woman, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Yeah. Right. But um, yeah, it. like yeah, that's like fucking right yeah. Like, why? If that's not you, right. just right. to be just to be petty and go tit for tat with the other person, exactly, right? Yeah. Or just or not even that to try and get the situation to work. Exactly. And it's like nah, like if there's friction there, then that's not that's not your situation. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like you cool off that. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not you, bro. So it's like don't. A lot of people, a lot of adults, and honestly, we, me and me, me and him, been through that. We've been through it. We're not necessarily that we try to change ourselves for a situation, but more so, we try to adapt to it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, nah, I know this ain't gonna work, but I'm still trying to make it work though. All right, trying to just com- trying to compromise. Yeah, yeah, like, cause I like, no matter what it is, situation like if it's relationship, marriage, there's always gonna be some form of compromise mm-hmm. on either side. Yeah. That's how I feel like, from what I've observed being on this earth 27 years. Damn. That's how you, <laughs> that's how you function. That's how you maintain a marriage. That's how mm-hmm. you maintain a relationship. Y'all going to fight. There's going to be fights. There's going to be arguments. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's not like infidelity, you got to get past that. Like, you just got to talk it out, get past that. Infidelity is one situation where it's like, all right, cool. I understand. Like, because that can really fuck up someone's trust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People don't un- people say like, "Oh, trust this, trust that." But when they're talking about their own trust. Mm-hmm. But when it's come to someone else's trust, they don't hold it as high as as much as they hold their trust. Same way they don't hold someone else's feelings as high as they hold their own. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's why it's like the minute people start to value someone's trust is the minute you'll see a lot more of compromise in terms of good compromise Mm -hmm. you won't see as much infidelity you won't see as much going behind people's backs and shit like that because it's like yo even if it crossed your mind it's like yo why would i do that like that really Mm -hmm. fuck so and so that really fucked him up i ain't trying to do him like that Mm -hmm. but it just comes down to maturity it's like at the end of the day it's like you're gonna have your fun you're going you know even when you're 18 21 24 all that you're gonna do what you do but it's like, are you learning along the way? Exactly. Like, are you learning from your past situations? Like, all right, I can't be like that with my next situation. Right. right. Cause like, not yeah. everything is meant to, you know, last forever. Yeah, no. Nah. If you do find an everlasting situation, that's cool. And I feel like a lot of the times, a lot of people are very too codependent on each other. So that's yep. giving them a reason to, you know, try and stick through it. And even if they're not even happy, you know, they'll just try and find other desires while still being in whatever situation, relationship they're in because they're too codependent on the other person. Right. You know, a lot of, you know, it's a lot of situations where it's like a lot of these guys, you know, I, and I mainly say guys just because like where we from, we see a lot of this play out more than the other side of the coin. Mm-hmm. So it's like a lot of guys, you know, they're codependent on their girls, you know, they need their girls, a place to live, you know, car to drive, food to eat. You know, a lot of guys ain't really out here standing on what they need to stand on as men. So right. that's like I say, Going back to the role reversal, going back to, like I said, men trying to be women, you know. A lot of these men, you know, they're too okay with a woman taking care of them 100%, you know, in terms of every field, financially, emotionally. It's like you can't allow a woman to burn herself out, like, wearing the pants in a relationship, basically. It's like at what point are you going to sit there and, you know, take – some like take a good look in the mirror and just be like, damn, you know, have that self realization with yourself where it's like, wow, I do right, I gotta do better, not even just for her, but for myself, yeah, because right, so yeah, yeah. my relationship, right. And then a lot of these women, I feel like, you know, it's it's a pro and a con, it's a blessing and a curse, how they're so willing to stick through it, <laughs> but like, a lot, you know, we got a lot of damaged goods out here. So it's like a lot of these women, they stick through the wrong situations too much that they don't know how to accept when a good one comes across. You know, they don't know how to accept. They don't know what a good man looks like. They just fantasize of what they think a good man is. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but when you see a lot of it, you know, a lot of of these women are very aggressive, you know. You know, they got built up anger. So when they're talking about their desires, you know, it's like they're so strict with it. Like you gotta be this, or you, or no, no talking whatsoever, or you gotta pay for my time. It's like, why has money become like, yeah, such yeah, a, you know, a, a deal breaker? Yeah, like I understand not wanting nobody broke. I get that. That's 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 facts. Cause 
as a man, I wouldn't want a, a completely broke woman. Like, I'm not saying you gotta have more money than me, but like, if you ain't got nothing going on, no motion no whatsoever. Motion, no motion. Yeah, I don't like. Where are we That's gonna be weird. able to work? I'm trying to build with somebody. I'm not trying to, you like, know, we too constantly be just watering you, yeah. and I'm not getting no benefit out of it. Real time. You know, like I want to water each other. I want to be able to grow with each other. Yeah. But like a lot of women, they, I get it, but to an extent, it's like. You're just gonna hold yourself back from actually finding something that's worth good. Yeah. Because a lot of men, you know, and then, you know, they try to scold you when you don't wanna be that man they want you to be in terms of money. Like, I don't wanna pay for a woman's love. I don't wanna pay for a woman's attention. <laughs> but then they'll scold you, gaslight you, mm-hmm. and they call you broke. Oh, da, 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 you this. You damn that. right, I'm broke. And it's like, well, shit, if I'm broke, <laughs> if that's what makes me broke, damn right. so be it. I'm broke as hell. Facts. But it's like, up. yeah, I'm stay up. over there. But it's just yeah. like, I'll be broke paying these bills. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, Pay these bills, man. Damn, it's what just it's like a lose lose on both sides. Yeah, yeah. I That's think what overall I mean. it's definitely that social media. Yes, and social yeah. media definitely social plays media a huge role in that. Because like with everything that we talking about overall, people look at what they would like to see within themselves. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you know, on social media it's kind of easy to weed into that. Right. Yeah. And so because we have it so accessible. Yeah. Yep. You're not re- really weeding away, are you? Right. You know what I mean? So, I feel like that's really what it is for yeah. a lot of times. As far as, like, yeah. the relationships and just men, just, men just, period, just got to step it up. I mean, we've been fucking up for a long time before right. we were even born. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. It's and just, a lot it's of just us, something I feel like is. we just got to recognize it as, like, okay, yeah, um, the game fucked up out here. We got to yeah, shit right. and just mold the next generation and hope. And that's right. why I hate when, like, I hate when I see women that say they want, like, an old school love. And it's just, like. No, that's not, bro. That's not, like you looking at romance in a time period, and it's like it wasn't that. Nah. Yeah. Yo, your granddaddy was cheating on your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, oh, much. Shit. No, that's no. facts. Talk about it's, the real problems. Yeah. <laughs> why do you think the song? Why do you think the song "Daddy Was a Rolling Stone"? Yeah. Uh, was shit. yeah because <laughs> yeah. It, it's been like that for a while, and that's why I agree with you. You say like, man, we gotta step it up. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like yo, the situations where it's like. Stop catapulting yourself into situations you're not ready for. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you creating a family when you ain't ready to take care of a family? Uh, why are you being with a woman knowing this is her situation and you wasn't ready? You knew in your heart you wasn't ready to take care of that. You wasn't ready to deal with that. Mm-hmm. Why would you? Everything comes back to accountability yeah. on both parties. That's true. Stop doing that if you know that's not you. If Or at least if you know at this point in time that's not you. Right. So why are you? That's like, all right, me, like, 2018, 2019, didn't want to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would I put myself in a relationship? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I'm not going to sit there and just be going after girl after girl trying to date them. I know that's not what I want. That's not the type of time I'm on. Right. Right. So I'm just going to save myself the time. I'm going to save their, them the time mm-hmm. and the drama and tell them when I slot in their DMs, this is what it is. Right. And if you don't like that, that's cool. You can dub me or we can be friends. It, it doesn't matter. Right. My point is, Stop setting things up. You know that's not the route you want to go. Exactly. Right. So that's why I agree with what you said. Men, we, like, we do need to step it up. And sure. also stop being enablers, Yeah. both men and women. Stop enabling mm-hmm. people to manipulate you. Stop enabling people to step over you, dog walk you. It's, it's easier said than done, but once you actually, you know, have that realization with yourself where it's like, damn, I'm enabling, like, because a lot of the times women do be enabling these men to be bums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because regardless of what they do, they're going to still be taken care of. You're going to still let them in the house. You know, they're going to still be fucking on you. Mm-hmm. you still, they still going to be asking to borrow your car to drive around and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no motion, nothing. no gas, no <laughs> nothing, you know. So it's like you enable this because you feel as though, like, I don't know, a, a lot of women, they have, like, it's like like the, the mentality that goes into it. A lot of women, they like being, you know, they like when their men are codependent on them. Right. But the process is way worse. Like, because it's not just, all right, he depends on you. All right, you're getting something out of it. A lot of times you're not getting nothing positive out of it. So it's just like, stop enabling these men to feel as though they could just sit on their ass and not do nothing. Yeah. If you want to be a stay-at-home dad, this shit, that's different. This shit. <laughs> at least be a good dad. A lot of these motherfuckers don't yeah. even be good dads. At least do that. Right. At least be a good Man, dad. If you're going to be at the crib doing nothing. Do something good, bitch. Right. Yeah, for real. At least, yeah. 
do hey, something. How you gonna be like? Cause how you gonna be sitting there getting taken care of and you ain't shit? Exactly. Right. Like yo, that is listen. And the bare minimum is not enough. I don't even think men and women. That. Literally, <laughs> I don't even think future would condone that. <laughs> and I'm not saying what would future say? approval. But I feel like he'd be like, damn, you a bum ass nigga. Cause she ain't gonna at least do good by the bitch. Like, right, you're taking care right, of you. Like, right. she reason there's food that you eating right now. Like, yeah, like damn, cause you gonna go out there and really just do it like that? Nah, you acting crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> take your ass. You just... <laughs> 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 